Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, it's Miss Rose Things. It's Jasmine. What's up? What's crack a lacking? Okay. <laughs> I literally have not filmed like if y'all want to know where I was, I was on TikTok. So go follow me on there. Miss Rose Things one. Just go follow. But um it feels so weird. <laughs> Because I seriously, I seriously have not filmed any videos for YouTube. None. By the time y'all see this, I'm hoping it's on anniversary day. Um, Yeah, this one's going to be really long. So go get you some popcorn. Go get you a drink. For those of y'all who have been missing me, thank you. I miss y'all too. Um, Let's get... <laughs> Fuck. Let's get started. Okay. So... Why did I take this break? And it does feel good to be back. Okay, so I took this break because I was feeling uninspired. <laughs> I was feeling moments of quitness. That means I wanted to quit YouTube really, really bad. Of course, if that ever does happen, I'll keep the page open, of course. But like, I just felt like I wasn't really going anywhere. So this break was just unplanned. Wasn't planning on taking a break until the first week of April, to be honest. And no, wait, the first week was actually kind of easy, okay? Because, you know, I still had videos going up the worst to best. Thank y'all for the love on the Mulan one, okay? I really appreciate y'all. And, you know, I was posting those worst to best because, you know, I wanted to have something for y'all to watch when I was gone. And it took me real time to think. I got to really get into. Things that I've been needing to, things I've been wanting to. I was able to start back writing my book. I only have like four or five more chapters left to write. A Rich for a Boyfriend 2, the sequel to the book. Okay. And it just felt really good. Like, I can't believe I actually took a whole, almost a whole, really gave it one more day. A whole month break from thinking about, like, I had ideas but not, like, actually cooking up the camera and not filming. For real. Also, seven year anniversary today. This is going up March 13th. This was when I first started social media. Not for just, you know, like for fun or just because I wanted to post pictures or stuff like that. But this is when I started making, this was the day I made my YouTube channel. And at the time, I didn't know that you can make videos like that. Because <laughs> I was really into Sims. I, like, I still am. But I was like watching Sims videos and I was like, Oh, shoot. I could make my own video? Okay, let's go with that. Like, it was a, a this or that tag. That was the first ever video. And I've pretty much been doing it ever since with no break at all. I was hoping I would have got to 900 subscribers by then. But no chance, no luck. It's fine. Like, it's okay. I'm just... Yeah, seven years on YouTube. That's a lot. Because I've been on TikTok slash Musical.ly for six. But damn, that is a lot of time. So enough rambling. Let's get into some topics I had bundling up. Okay, so first let's talk about Russia and Ukraine. Let's get this out the way, okay? That war, because I've been paying attention. That war is very, very terrible over there. It's very sad. People are losing lives. There's bombs going off over there. People have to flee to different countries to feel safe. And I hope y'all are helping everybody. Ukraine, you hear me? Hope y'all helping everybody over there get safely over there and not kicking them off the trains and stuff like that. I'm just saying, but lately that's all you see all over the news. You don't even see them talking about COVID anymore, for real. Like that's all you say, see. Prayers to Ukraine. Putin, you sure is an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm, for sure, okay? Angelina from Jersey Shore is getting a divorce. I forgot to mention that back in February. But yeah, she's getting a divorce and that's just really terrible um the proud family louder and prouder oh my goodness they did a so good job with it i am so so proud of it because you know that was my childhood right there they've made it more modern they made it more mature because like there's this part where trudy and oscar looked like they was doing some thing thing okay and they they changed it it's it's I can't even explain it. I don't know why I'm about to cry right now, but it's really good. Like, see? Pretty doggone good. They only have three episodes out right now. Like, it's really good. Arthur. Arthur just ended, okay? It was on TV. I didn't even know it was on that long because, you know, I've grown up. Grown up from that. 
25 years. I watched the last episode on PBS. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And it was good. But I'm like, where was Brain? Why was George there? Brain was important too. You even showed Binky. Like, where was Brain? I'm just saying. But it was good. The show's over now. Us millennials understand. Okay. Cyber Chase. I had no idea Cyber Chase was still on. I love, like, science mathy kind of things. You know, science mathy. I used to love back then when I was younger. Like, I used to love math for some reason. I don't know. But it was cool. Um... That's that. Wendy Williams, yeah, her show is getting canceled. So Sherry Shepard is going to be having a show. Um, that kind of, well, I don't know what happened with Wendy. She had dementia or, or, or something like that. But I, I hope that she really gets the help she needs. I really even watched the Wendy Williams show like that. I like, I like what she said. She's like, "How you doing? How you doing?" You know, because I don't really even watch it like that for real. If I'm being honest with y'all, but. Yeah, you know, every good thing has to come to an end, you know? Um, Johnny Brown from Good Times, Mr. Bookman, yeah, he passed away. I always felt like he was the butt of the joke, you know, sometimes, because they were always calling, calling him, um, I forgot what they used to call him, but that, uh, yeah, he, he was wonderful, yeah. Um, The Courtship, okay. So, there's this show out on NBC, and you can watch it on Peacock the next day, I think. Um, it's really good. It has a black heroine, and they're doing it like Jane Austen times, you know, like Pride and Prejudice, like that. And there's like 16 suitors. Two already went home. Good show. Good concept. I, I wouldn't mind watching some new seasons of that. Because The Bachelorette and The Bachelor, I don't care what anybody say, they're both getting kind of stale, Okay. Forget that Chris Harrison left. They're just both getting kind of stale. Because Katie's season, no good. Michelle, glad that she got somebody out of that. Okay. Max, he's still with his girl. Okay, whatever. Colton's was whack as hell. It's whack. Like, I'm sorry. His season is whack. Don't really care for it. Love is Blind season two. So, I was watching the first three episodes. And I was like, ugh, this is so boring. I cannot stand this show. So, then I went to, you know, the weddings part. So Michelle and her dude and Ayana and Jared, you know, would be Dory. But Shake, Shake is an ass hat, okay? Shake is straight up, Shake is straight up ass hat, okay? Because he over here talking all this crap, saying this should be love is blurry, and like Vanessa and Liquid Shay, like y'all cute and all, but like why was you making it about you? Y'all want a show about you? Go, go, go to your reality show, okay? Because this shit ain't about you. It was never about you. So why do you think it was? Stupid. And they have a new show coming out, The Ultimatum, kind of similar to Love is Blind. It's kind of like, oh, there's these, and it's coming out in April. These um, married couples, okay. One wants to get married and one does not. So they're like um, basically switching spouses with people there. And at the end of the show, they say whether they want to stay with the person or not. Like for real, for real. I just don't understand. Um, Amanda Bynes conservatorship. I didn't even know she was in one. Like, you see Britney Spears living her best life, dancing in her living room, dancing wherever. She looks so happy, okay? Like, yeah, she's still doing the dancing thing, but maybe that's just what she loves to do, okay? Let, let's not judge her. Let's maybe what she wants to do. Amanda Bynes is trying to get out of her conservatorship because, man, when she was going through those little mental issues... She was saying some really weird things, you know. But she seems to be doing a lot better now. She's engaged and everything. Really happy for her. Um, and I think the last thing I have is the TikTok drama. So, yes, I said that I'm not really into it like that. But it's come, around, come across my For You page at least 40 times. So, there is this guy named Modern Warrior, right? Big TikToker. Likes to, you know, call people, hey, colonizer, hey, colonizer, like when they're doing something racist, right? And then there's this other lady named Chelsea. Turns out she's a complete and total fraud telling her story. Like, not completely fraud, but almost fraud because she's a lesbian and you're talking to him over here and like this. And then this Aunt Karen person got into it. It's like... And then a whole lot of people are talking about it, trying to get views. Like, yeah, I would too. 
but I try to keep my page drama free. My page is dancing and nostalgia, okay? Those are the two main things that I try to stick with, which brings me to something I'm going to bring up in a minute, okay? But, like, there's this old, whole drama, and it's I'm like, is this YouTube? This is TikTok. Like, we got to do, we don't do that over here, honey. By the way, y'all, I've been making some little change over there. It's, it's been nice. It's been nice to be monetized on TikTok. Like, it's been nice, okay? And I'm trying to keep it there, so... Yeah, and that brings me to my last thing. I'm trying to bring more nostalgia stuff over here. Like, I was doing something on my other channel, but I was like, eh, I think it would be better suited over here. Because I want to, no, switch it up over here. Also, when Catfish and Jocelyn's Cabaret and it's sort of expected to go off. And then I don't know, who's filming that day. I've, I'm saying this, I'm keeping this up. I'm going to try to take a break once a month, okay? Because... Those breaks were refreshing, repowered, refreshed. Y'all see, I ain't coming on here all monotone like, oh, this is today's video. We're going to do a feisty loud. I really don't want to film this, but I'm going to film it anyway. Like, like, that, like, I'm actually excited to film. So thank you, everybody, for waiting for me to come back. If you've been watching me on TikTok, thank you. Don't stop because I'm still going to be posting on there. And um, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I see I had hit over the 860s. We're in the 870s now. Thank y'all. And um, I will see y'all next time. Bye.